So in my last video, I talked about how Siri could be ported from the iPhone 4S to the iPhone 4, so it could work with other uh, iOS devices. Now, why is it so important that Siri can work with these other devices? Uh, well, today I want to talk about some other possibilities that are in store for Siri, uh, which might just, you know, make it all worthwhile to really get Siri on those other devices. Uh, more devices than just one, the iPhone 4S. Uh, so we're going to talk about a few of these features. And they're actually uh, quite mind-blowing. Uh, they show that Siri isn't limited to the iPhone 4S. Siri can do much more. It can control other devices. So the first thing we're going to talk about is a thermostat. Siri was actually configured to work with a thermostat. A regular Wi-Fi thermostat bought from Home Depot in someone's house was controlled with Siri. Now, uh, this was done by a little bit of hacking uh, in a proxy server. Siri was communicating with the proxy server, which was communicating with the thermostat. Uh, and the hacker was able to set up some basic commands. Uh, one of the commands was set the thermostat to X degrees, at which point Siri would connect to the thermostat, change the temperature. And then, the amazing thing is Siri was able to gather data from the thermostat and send it back to the user. Now this is an amazing feature. You could, uh, the hacker also configured uh, Siri so that you can just ask it, you know, what is the temperature of my house? And it'll uh, do the same thing, gather the info and send it uh, to the iPhone 4S and Siri would basically say, your house is set to blah 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 degrees, the heater kicks in it, blah blah blah. So it's actually quite amazing um, because if this were really implemented for real, it'd be super easy to monitor your house um, while you're away. You could just ask your phone, hey Siri, how's my house doing? Oh, well, it's at this temperature and, you know, there's no alerts on your alarm or something like that, you know? So, it's really amazing uh, the potential that is shown with this one little hack. Uh, the second hack let Siri communicate with Viper. Now, Viper is a remote system uh, that allows you to do stuff from your car, uh, to your car actually, from away from your car, basically, uh, from a little keychain. Uh, so you can do things like start the ignition, you can set your headlights, uh, lock the car uh, from it too, obviously. Um, so it was actually configured so that Siri could communicate with Viper. So I think you can imagine where I'm going with this. The hacker configured Siri so that you can ask it to start the vehicle. Siri then I'll reply, please wait while I connect to Viper. And then it said, uh, Viper, or, yeah, Viper connection established and then vehicle ignition has been triggered. And then, you know, the car obviously started. That is uh, amazing. Now, there, it isn't real efficient. Uh, because it took about 10 seconds for Siri to connect to Viper, and it has to do that every time, otherwise probably the battery would drain in 10 minutes. Um, so, it, you know, every time you ask it to do something relating to Viper, it has to reconnect to Viper. Uh, you know, so it takes a little bit of time, and it isn't real efficient, so it probably isn't something that you would really use. However, it really shows how much Siri can really do how it could communicate with these external devices and complete actions. Uh, and, it, you know, it works perfectly. I mean, Siri even responds to you perfectly. Uh, you know, so it's just amazing the potential that Siri has. Now, the last thing is uh, Siri can be used to control an application on another iOS device. Uh, so how this was set up was there was a PDF file open on an iPad, and then uh, the Siri on the iPhone 4S was configured to communicate with the iPad and uh, what the user was able to do, he was able to ask Siri to go to the next page. And magically, on the iPad, it flipped to the next page. You know, they didn't touch a thing, you know, it just flipped. Uh, another thing they asked was to find a word in the PDF file. And then Siri, uh, you know, transmitted that to the iPad and then the iPad, the application, uh, did a find for that word and then pulled up a list of those occurrences of the word. Now, the really amazing part of this is that Siri recognized there were multiple choices. And so it asked, which one? And, you know, and you gotta remember, we're talking about two different devices. This is happening on the iPad 
but the info is being relayed over to the iPhone 4S, and Siri is then asking which one. Now the user simply said the second one. He didn't have to say like a number, like number two, or you know, they weren't numbered on the list, or he didn't have to say, you know, the title of the word or something. He just simply said the second choice, or the second one. And then it relayed that to the iPad, and the iPad selected the second choice. I thought that was really amazing, because that's what Apple's all about, really. They're all about, you know, simplicity and natural use. Uh, they don't, their approach to Siri wasn't really like, we want you to memorize these phrases, and these are going to be the only phrases uh, that Siri will, you know, respond to. Uh, Apple is all about, you know, being able to ask Siri to do something, and Siri simply does it. Uh, so, you know, it's simply amazing that you could just say, you know, something as informal as the second one. And Siri recognizes it and goes ahead and completes the action. Uh, you know, so I think these hackers are greatly contributing to the technology world. Uh, and I think Apple should really consider expanding Siri's horizons. Uh, and, you know, maybe even hire these hackers. It wouldn't be the first time that they did this because they actually hired a couple uh, Cydia uh, developers that, you know, did some stuff with notifications for the iPhone. Uh, and they hired those uh, hackers to work on Notification Center for iOS 5. You know, so they could do a very similar thing and hire hackers to basically work on Siri and get it so it works, you know, with other devices, many other devices that could be used by the general public for, you know, very useful things, such as controlling your car or your thermostat. Uh, so, I mean, the possibilities that Siri could do are just simply amazing. Uh, now, you do have to consider in security issues, you know, there's, with so many people having the iPhone 4S and having Siri, you know, there's got to be some kind of, you know, Wi-Fi or a wireless uh, security leak that could happen and someone could hack into that signal and control your devices, you know, such as your car. That wouldn't be very good uh, if they could suddenly control your car. You know, so there's some security that has to be factored in there as well. Uh, however, I'm sure... I'm sure Apple could figure out a way to, you know, encrypt all the information that's passed on back and forth. Uh, there, there's got to be a way. Um, and you know, with cloud computing and everything, Apple is uh, really on top of their security. They have to be, uh, you know, for iCloud and everything. So, uh, tell me what you guys think about this stuff. Uh, would you use these features? And keep in mind, even if you wouldn't use it, they still pose a lot of possibilities that Siri could go into. Uh, so that's about it. Just tell me uh, what you guys think. Uh, leave a comment down below. And uh, make sure you uh, subscribe to stay updated on the latest in tech news. We do uh, tech news here, app reviews, product comparisons, you know, etc. Uh, also visit my blog, linkobinarski.com, Twitter at MikeBinarski. Also check out my previous video, which talked about porting Siri to the iPhone 4 and the possible dangers of doing so. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.